Hello Java DC in this video we are going to learn how to do shop drawing and rebar detailing for stairs we have done this video for beams many of you asked to me that I uh, to do it for stairs too in this video we are going to do this for a stair and it's really easy I will do it uh, for a for one of the runs in here from here to here this is started I have created an uh, stair in here we have two landing in here and we are going to start to do the modeling for this one the first one that i want to do we need a, a rebar from here and it will go to the up and it will be in here so let's start to do that first let's select the uh it is better to have a section because it is really much easier to place your rebars in sections instead of 3d and other views in the section click on the element that you want to place rebar click on rebar in here I don't want to save it right now click on ok I don't want this right now and in here click on sketch and then you need to select the face in here now I can start to model it for this I'm going to use 30 millimeter rebars and let's draw them from here and we'll come to here and it will go up you can work with me but when you are working make sure to have a detail as a draft for yourself and it will go to here it will be continued from here to here and then we will have a bending in here that's the first shape that we need and let's click on finish and now let's select this one if you are not seeing the rebar as a solid make sure to put your detail level on fine and also let's go to the 3d and make sure to put the let's put it on wireframe and let's select one of them and the distance between these is gonna be 200 millimeter let's put it on maximum spacing and let's put it on 200 millimeter now we have the rebars in here the other thing that we can do we can select the rebars and we can go to the visibility and we on obscure them in the 3d view and now when we switch back to shader, we can see the rewards or even you can select them and you can do a override graphic in view by element and let's give them a solid red, maybe a little bit lighter, pattern to here and we'll make them more visible. Even you can make them more red if you want. And now we can uh, start and we can model the other part that we have. The lower part is gonna be gonna start from here and it's gonna be it's gonna go to here and in here it will uh, bend from here to here and it bend to here. So let's add the second one. Let's select the stair and let's create it and click on sketch again. Select this and now let's start to. I'm going to use thing for this one too so let, let's do our work here i'm going to place this here right now and then i'm going to create a line in here and i'm going to create a line with the distance of 25 millimeter i'm going to delete this i'm going to create another line from for here now i'm going to press tr and trim these three to get and this is the second rebar that we need for here okay that's great click on finish again select it uh, and click on maximum spacing and let's put this on 200 millimeter too and if you want to see them again you have to go to the wireframe and you have to select them and in here you have to make sure to uh, check the VM score in here and now we can see them in here too and also you can do a visibility graphic to this one too now let's add some additional rebars for this one uh, it's gonna be a, a rebar from here and it will uh, go under this one and it will go to here and it will uh, reinforce and it's additional reinforcement for this so let's select the stray again let's click on rebar again and let's select a sketch and the element again 
and in here let's create a band from here and let's bring it to here let's bring it about maybe we can do a big line by the dimension of maybe a centimeter for now this is the line press tr and then we will change the constraints in here and for the length it's gonna be about 70 to 80 let's put it on maybe 90 it's gonna be good this is the this is the third one that i need again it's gonna be 13 uh, 13 millimeter and by the distance of 200 that's great I, I need to bring this one a little bit upper because I want to place rebars between this one and this one so let me select this and in here I can bring it up to here and that's great and this is okay for me right now we have to add another one in here too which is an additional one that will come from here and it will go on the upper side of this so for that let me select it and let's click on rebar sketch in here again I'm going to start it from about maybe here I'm just doing it freehand right now let's pick up a line from here by the distance of 20 millimeter that's gonna be okay and now let's trim these two together from this side and now I want to extend it to about 90 that's fine let's click on finish and in here I have to say this side is fine we can bring it even upper but for this side I need to bring this one a little down and I need to bring this one a little bit lower that's gonna be right and we have to fix these two let's fix this one too and that's right we did a mistake in here and we've replaced this one with this one so this one should continue to here and this one should just continue to here so I can just click on it and click on edit sketch and I can pick this line maybe and then I can extend and now I can delete this I can delete this too and this is the one that we need click on finish and now for this one I will select it click on edit sketch from here maybe and now we can do a trim this one to this one and click on finish and now we have the right one but make sure that you're doing the same thing for them too. So let me make this, make my 3D big, TW for making this big. And let's go to the wireframe mode and let's select these and let's put them on maximum spacing and the distance of them will be 200 millimeter. And now we will have the right reinforcement in here. Make sure you can select one of the rebars and right click and click on select all rebar in holes and make sure to check this you can see all of them are in maximum spacing and 200 millimeter let me do the visibility graphic for this one too but before to do that make sure to like this video and share it with your friends and colleagues and now we are done with these uh, rebar shapes and now we want to add some horizontal rebars in here and let's start to add them Let's click on, uh, let's press stability to have the views in tile. Let me bring this here to here and let's bring it here to here. Press stability again. Now we have the 3D in here and that's the right place that we want. And now in here, let me place some rebars from here to here, from here to here. And we will have some rebars from here to here. Uh, the first one, let's add from here to here. To that select on rebar again in here and click on rebar and we want to click on here to have the rebar shape i want to have a, a straight rebar this is the one and in here we have to put it on 
you have to change the placement I want to have a perpendicular to cover and then I will have this kind of ray bar in here let's place one in here and now I can select it and then I can put it on maximum spacing that and the spacing gonna be on 200 again but the number of it should be maybe 10 for this and now we can select it and we can change it from here to here last one should be here okay that's fine and for the placement it's not the right place we have to bring it down in here at top of this one but we have to bring this bring this one a little bit up maybe here now that's the right one in here or maybe let's put them on 12 maybe or um, or 13 and let's bring them a little bit upper that's the right place and in here let me bring this one a little bit upper that's great and now we have them in here let's add these from uh, to here to i just can select these and we can copy them it will be easier let's copy them in here and the start point will be the same but the end point will be here and from for this one because i want to create another reverse, uh, another set of reverse from here to here i need to delete this one to do that you have to select the set of your the rebar and then you can uh, click on edit rebar and select the rebar that you want to remove and then click on remove bar click on finish and now we are good to go let's do the same thing from here to the up so i need to delete with this one too let me select this and click on edit bar remove uh, select the rebar that you want to remove remove bar and click on finish and let's have the angle between this and this and then we can have the right angle let me let's go to the annotate and let's place uh, let's have an angular dimension it's about 32 degree that's fine and uh, let's place a straight rebar again to place it here and then i need to put it on a set of rebar maximum spacing 200 millimeter and that's great and now let's do a rotate by 32 degree now let's bring it to here we can continue it to here let's see the results again now i think this is the best result that we can achieve or we can bring it a little bit upper and then we can adjust this under these rebars in here and this is these are in the right place too and now this is from uh, for these ones let me bring it a little bit lower and it's gonna be fine and now we can add some rebars from here to here to do that again let's click on the rebar straight again this one is easy let's place one in here and let's put it on maximum spacing 200 millimeter bring it to here and from this side i need to bring it to these parts but there are some clashes in here we can bring this down or we can bring these a little bit upper and fix them in here and that's great and now we have the lower part too uh, we can just copy this to the lower part now we just need to place them in the right place let's replace them from here to here for right now but then we can change them wherever we want and now let's add another diagonal set of rebar that we want to place in here we can just copy these to here can change the constraint of the them for example let's change the constraint of them from here them there to here 
And now I need to place them here. We need to do some changes in here. Maybe we need to do, we need to change the angle a little bit. Let's click on rotation, place on here, maybe one degree or half of the degree. And let's see the results. It's great right now. Now we have the rebar in here. And also we can bring this to here. And I think we are done. The dimension is not quite right. We have to modify them in plan. To do that, it's really easy. Let's go to uh, plan and let's just modify it to the place that we want. You have to check the hovers too, but I'm just going to freehand it right now. Place it here. Now I think they are in the right place. And now let's select one of the one of the rebars in here. Right click and click on select all rebar in host. And then click on view visibility and make sure that all of them are visible and obscured here too. Because we have some other parts in here, we can leave them alone right now. And these ones are great too. And now I will do some visibility graphics for this. And you can easily place these views on your sheet. Let's see and see the final result. Now this is the final result for a small part of our stern. And I think we have done a great job and you can add extra details uh, if you want. But I just want to show you how to do rebars for a stair for a small part of a stair and other parts of just repetitive tasks that you can do. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, make sure to watch this video too and you can learn uh, rebar detailing for beams in Revy 2 and don't forget you can access to all of our files on our Patreon page you can find the link in the description